Hello, my name is Troy Beans with 78freethrows.com. Communication is absolutely important to any relationship. I think most people understand that. But how well do we listen? Dr. Gary Smalley has an exercise that he calls drive-through listening. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, the reality of it is we all listen extremely well, millions of times a day here in the United States. And here's how. We drive up to the drive-thru. We say to the person in that little box, I want two hamburgers, two fries, and two large Cokes. And they repeat back to you, you want two hamburgers, two fries, and two large Cokes. You say, yes sir, you drive around, you get your food, you ask for what you need, and you get it. Now could you imagine if you went up to the drive-thru and you said, I want two hamburgers, two fries, and two large Cokes, and the person said, hamburgers? I hate hamburgers. Why don't you get salad instead? <laughs> and you'd go, this guy's nuts. I, I want hamburgers. You might not come back, or maybe even worse. What if the guy said, you know, I've been watching you, and you've been putting on a few pounds. Maybe you should make that Diet Coke. <laughs> if that happened, we definitely wouldn't come back. However, in our relationships, people tell us what they need, and we judge, we condemn, we tell them what we think they need, they put up with it, they deal with it, and amazingly, sometimes for years, they come back and explain again what they need, and we judge what they're trying to say. Important part about drive-through listening is that when your partner tells you what they need, listen. And as long as it doesn't break your personal boundaries, do everything you can to give them what they need. And the best relationships are ones in which you also can tell what you need. You can explain what you need. And your partner's going to listen and do everything they can to give it back to you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.